Sir Desmond Caron, a fine poacher. Step forward, Sir Desmond. While traveling through the King's Wood on his way to King's Landing, Sir Desmond recently brought three and twenty knights to justice. You might thank him for his leal service, Princess. Sir Criston Cole, the Lord of the Son of the Steward of Blackhaven. You saw combat in the Stormlands. Dornish marches, Princess. I fought for the Dornish incursions. Let's be too hasty, Princess. There's no doubt houses such as Crickle and Malister are important allies of the Crown, but Sir Criston is a fine warrior. I choose Sir Criston Cole. The Valyrian capital was built into a dragonstone. Much like Dragonstone. The stonemasons, the highest of the nobility, lived here, at Dragonstone. It is truly wondrous what you've built. Oh, no. I only pour over the histories and provide the plans. The blood mages build the structures. Do you believe the Westeros can be another Valyria, Your Grace? Oh, no. The glory of old Valyria will never be seen again. I'm glad we could meet. I know tempers ran hot today, but I wanted to assure you. Might I speak plainly? Your Grace, it was not my intent to apologize for the tenor at the small council today, Your Grace. Make offense. The crown's strongest days are behind. Not ahead. You paint such an aspirant portrait of my reign, Lord Corlys. It is an honest one, cousin. Do you have a specific course of action to propose? To elude a storm, you can either sail into it or into it. But you must never sail into it. We should be free to speak our minds to one another. You can say whatever you'd like. You are the king. I love to find knight of the king's guard. Very much. A regret of mine. Paid no mind. I, I thought I might have had some insight. You're young. But... You will learn. I held Lord Corley's earlier today. That was most charitable of you, Your Grace. I'm sure Lord Corley's appreciated the spirit of it. He proposed a marriage. To combine the strength of our houses, that is what I'm doing. Lord Corley's has overreached, Your Grace. I do fear what Rhaenyra might think. What does it matter, Your Grace? Her father must propagate the royal line. It bothers you, does it not? Here is the hard truth, which no one else has the heart to tell you. Your father will remarry sooner than late. His new wife will be male. And when that boy comes of age, men of the realm will expect him to be heir, not you. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch than see a woman. The small council is urging me to remarry. Does the small council have a particular lady in mind? Uh, Lord Corlys Balarian. A very strong match, Your Grace. Your Grace, I've called the small council to an emergency session. Why? I think it best you hear it directly. Why? It is the pleasure of Daemon Targaryen, the Prince of Dragonstone and rightful heir to the Iron Throne, to announce that he is to assume the title Lady Missaria of Dragonstone. Her grace is with child and is to have a dragon's egg placed in the child. God's been good. The realm is watching, Your Grace. What would you have me do? Send him to the wall. Perhaps I could put his head on a spike. Assemble a detachment, Otto. I will go to Dragonstone and drag David back to face justice Your myself. Grace. Welcome to Dragonstone, Otto. This is a truly pathetic show, Damon. 
Are you so desperate for the king's attention that you've resorted to skulking about like a common whore? This is an abomination. You've come for the egg. Here it is. Ever since my name was read by the Archmaesters at the Great Council, I have felt Corlys Valerian staring at me. Lord Corlys comes from unimpeachable Valerian stock and has Targaryen blood. What's to miss like? If you truly want my unencumbered opinion... I do. You should wed Lord Corlys and fix him at your side. I have decided to take a new wife. This is an absurdity. My house is Valerian, the greatest power in the realm. And I am your new wife. <laughs>